Good morning, all of you. So today I'm very excited about to uh, to take you through this demonstration where we will be uh, running a container known as BusyBox. So let me uh, get back to my screen. So first of all, uh, I will try to list all the containers which we have executed so far. So you can see the last container which we have uh, which we have run is you know seven minutes ago. So these are all the containers. Uh, so you can see the status of this particular container so you can see that there is no container which is running as of now if I try to run docker ps you can see there are no containers which are running as of now so if I try to clear my screen and if I try to list all the images which are stored locally on my system you can see these are the images so this particular demonstration talks about busy box as a container so that particular image is not yet there so if I try to run this particular command run busy box so as you would normally expect if this particular image is not stored locally it will be getting pulled from uh, the docker hub repository so if i try to do the list command once again you can see that that particular image resides uh, resides uh, in in our local system so what happens is if i try to run the command once again uh, so you can see that uh, this busy box container uh, has exited 16 seconds ago so what has happened you know we already discussed before if there is no running processes inside the container the container will be getting terminated right so this is what has happened so if i try to clear my screen and if i try to run this particular container once again it busy box so in this particular case the image is already stored locally so it will not be getting pulled from the docker hub repository so if I try to uh, uh, enter, you know, you can see that I have assumed the shell of our container, which is nothing but busy box. So if I try to put ls, you can see these are the directories which are inside our container. If I try to do ls bin, you can see all the text files under this kind of the directories. So if I try to navigate to my console once again, and if I try to clear a screen, if I try to, uh, uh, so I have switched to my console and I'm trying to list whatever the containers which are running as of now. So you can see that our busy box container has been running from last 24 seconds. So if I try to do docker ps minus a, so it will show me the list of all the containers which are active and which have which are not uh, not active as of now. So you can see our containers is running as of now. So if I switch back to my console in which I have assumed the shell of our busy box container, uh, so if I try to clear my screen, so let's uh, so for example i try to show you uh, that you know we will be able to perform all the operations in the busy box container as we would normally do in our linux uh, uh, in our ubuntu operating system so for example if i try to say hello from busy box so this particular uh, you can see that uh, hello from busy box so you can see that this particular command executed as it would normally do so for example i can also execute this particular command because we have also seen the text file this particular text file is existing under our bin directory so you should be able to execute most of the commands which would you normally operate in your linux container but the the thing which i because if if i go you can see that these are the uh, text files which are existing under our uh, bin directory right so if i try to execute uh, exit from this particular container and if i try to clear my screen uh, so so for example uh, i would like to show again docker ps uh, so just to make sure that we are, are not running that particular con container we have exited from that particular container so i would again try to list the image so if you uh, make a comparison between busy box and our ubuntu docker image you can see that the docker image for the busy box is extremely uh, small 1.24 mb but we are able to perform most of the operations as we normally do in our ubuntu operating system so that is the beauty of this particular busy box container the docker image is extremely small so that is what we intend uh, wanted to cover in this demonstration thank you